Hi, and welcome to your 11th iOS programming tutorial. And today, we are going to be looking at generating or triggering a random action. So far, we have looked at generating a random number, and then generating random text, and today we'll be looking at generating random actions. So what can this be used for? Well, generating random actions essentially is generating a random method. So you might have, well, in your applications, you might play a song, or you might when a button is clicked to show an alert, or you might display a web page. But what if you wanted to do one of these things but choose it randomly rather than having the user press a button or trigger it after a certain delay? You just wanted to do it at random. Well, that's what I'm going to be showing you today. We'll create a series of buttons and randomly hide one of those buttons when you click a button. So, let's get started. Open up Xcode and create a new project. What we'll be doing is fairly similar to creating, generating, sorry, a random number. However, rather than just then generating the random number, we'll then do a switch and then for case 0, meaning the number is 0, we'll trigger action 0 or action 1, and so on. So once you're in Xcode, create a single view application. I'll call mine random action generator. Use storyboards, automatic reference counting, and include unit tests. I'm only going to make mine for iPhone, but you can do a universal application if you'd like. Let's go into our main storyboard, to, dot storyboard and begin. Let's drag in six buttons. So we'll call the first button 1, make it a bit bigger, and then just copy and paste that button a few times. I'll speed this up, but essentially what you need to do is just copy and paste the buttons a few times. I'm doing mine six times, you don't even have to follow along with this. You'll probably be triggering an action that you've already written, like playing a song. But seeing that this is a brand new application for me, I'm just going to be showing and hiding buttons. And then I'm going to add a button that says, randomly hide a button. And then I'm going to go into my assistant editor by clicking on the little tuxedo icon in the top right corner. After the Add Interface line, add a curly bracket and press Enter. Then right-click on Randomly Hide a Button button and drag it underneath the closing curly bracket but above at End. Select the connection to be an action, the type ID, event, touch up inside, argument sender, and I'm just going to call this Randomly Choose Action. Okay, for this part here, all I'm going to do is create an outlet for each of these buttons. That's just because I'm going to be hiding and showing each button. If you're not hiding and showing each button, and you are instead triggering a random action that you've already written, like showing an alert, then skip this part, and I'll just do a quick time lapse. All you have to do, though, is right-click on your button and drag it between the two curly brackets, make sure the connection's an outlet, and call the first one one, the second one two, and so on. Okay, welcome back. So I've gone back into my viewcontroller.m and back into my single view editor, and now let's go into our IB action, randomly choose action. In here we'll put the code to randomly trigger an action. So, let's first create an int. That's just a number, and the number, we'll just call it random action to choose. We are still going to generate a random number, but then from that number, work out what number that is, and generate a corresponding action. And then we'll go random action to choose equals arc for random percentage 6 semicolon and then switch uh, random action to choose case <coughs> and then inside the case bubble type <coughs> 0 and inside the statements type 1 dot hidden equals yes. Then copy this code here. I'll explain what I'm doing in a moment. But copy those three lines there. And then above the default line, paste them. Press enter twice and paste them again. And just do that as many uh, for as many actions as you have. I've got six, so I'll paste it six times. Okay, so I've pasted it six times now. And you'll be getting errors. We need to change case... Uh, the second one should be case 1, third should be case 2, fourth case 3, fifth case 
4 and 6 case 5. And then I'll change it to 2 dot hidden for the second one, 3 dot hidden for the third one, 4th for the 4th one, uh, 5 for the 5th one, and 6 for the 6th one. Okay, so let me explain what's happening here. We're generating a random number between 0 and 5. If the, uh, and then we're doing a switch, which essentially means if the random number that is generated is 0, then perform this action. If the random number that's generated is a 1, perform this action. If the random number that's generated is a 3, uh, I said 1 before, that's meant to be 2, so that, it, uh, if the random number that's generated is a 1, then do this. If the random number that's generated is a 2, do this. If the random number that's generated is a 3, do this. Random number generated is 4, do this. Or if the random number it, that is generated is a 5, then do this. Remember that because it's sort of like an array, it starts at 0. So 0 is actually the first thing, and then 5 is actually the sixth thing. So what we're doing here is, this is where you'd insert your custom action. So say I had 6 possible actions. If you wanted 7 possible actions, change this percentage 6 to percentage 7, and then just copy this line here and paste it again for case 6, and so on. I'm just going to have 6 cases because I've got 6 buttons. Here is where you'd put your custom action code. So if I wanted to trigger an alert yeah, for the first possible option, then I'd put the code to show an alert here. And then maybe for the second possible random thing, it would play a sound. Well, I'd put the code to play a sound here. And so on. If I wanted to separate it a bit more, after the right before the add end line, uh, after the IB action, what I would do is I'd type dash void action 1 and then open a curly bracket and press enter to close the curly bracket. Then I'd replace one dot hidden equals yes with a square bracket and then type self action one. And then for two I'd copy this and I'd make it action two. And I'd do self dot action two here. And I'd put the code to do the random action for the first random action in here just to separate it all a bit more. I'm not going to do that though. I'm just going to keep it like this because each of my actions only involves one line of code. So let me add uh, one dot hidden equals yes back in. The other thing I might want to do is this could be like one of those door applications where you have to randomly go through doors and select the right door. Anyway, let's run the application and see if it works. So I'll click run. And once the iris simulator starts up, what should happen is when I click the random action generator button, it will randomly hide one of the six buttons. If I click it again, it will randomly hide another one of the six buttons, unless the random number that was generated was the same, in which case that, that one will just stay hidden. So let's click randomly hide a button, and it randomly took away button four. I'll click it again, and button two's now gone. Now button three. Okay, so when I clicked it just then, nothing happened. That's because either two, three, or four was hidden again. It ran, uh, the random number that was generated was either, uh, one, two, or three, meaning that it just did the same thing again. So let's click it again. And now six is gone, five is gone, and nothing, 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 one is gone. Okay. So I've now shown you how to generate a random action. I hope you found this tutorial interesting, and if you've got anything else that I could randomize and you're not quite sure how to do it, then message us through YouTube, comment on this video, visit our website 99centsappdevelopment.com or our Facebook page, all the links are in the description. Remember, all the code to do various things like show an alert, I've done in previous tutorials, and all you need to copy is the code that you put inside the IB action. Well, in most of my tutorials, we learn how to do things like show an alert. So we'd put the show and alert uh, code inside an IB action for when the button is clicked. So you just copy the code to show the alert and paste it inside each case to generate that random thing. You don't actually need to know how to generate a random everything. You just need to know how to generate random numbers, random text, and then how to generate random actions. And that means that you can pretty much randomize absolutely anything. You could even use this to generate random text by going, if you had a label, in this case I've got a button, so I'll just do one dot title, uh, label dot title, or dot text, sorry, and that's just the text of my button, 
equals at talking mark talking mark semicolon and then put the text I want to set the button's text to and that will be a way of generating random text using this method although I do suggest watching tutorial number 10 when we cover how to properly generate random text so if you've enjoyed this tutorial be sure to like and subscribe and we'll see you next time for another iOS programming tutorial <laughs>